Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is activation of G protein. G proteins are molecular switches that relay signals from the cell surface to the inside of the cell through G protein coupled receptor or GPCR. They are composed of three subunits, alpha, beta and gamma. In this video, we will see how G proteins are activated by GPCRs, which are the largest and most diverse family of cell surface receptors. GPCRs are proteins that span the plasma membrane seven times, forming a cylindrical shape. They can bind to various types of molecules such as hormones, neurotransmitters and light. Depending on the type of ligand, GPCRs have different structures and functions. When a ligand binds to a GPCR, it changes the conformation of the receptor, exposing a site on the cytoplasmic side that can interact with a G protein. The G protein is initially inactive with GDP bound to the alpha subunit and the beta and gamma subunits forming a complex. Both the alpha and gamma subunits have lipid molecules attached to them, which help them to anchor to the membrane. The AH domain of the G protein alpha subunit moves outward to open the nucleotide binding site, thereby promoting dissociation of GDP allowing GTP to bind in its place. GTP binding then causes an activating conformational change in the alpha subunit releasing the G protein from the receptor and triggering dissociation of GTP bound alpha subunit from the beta gamma pair. Both the alpha and the beta gamma subunits can then interact with various targets such as enzymes and ion channels which relay the signals onward. The alpha subunit has an intrinsic GTPase activity which means that it can hydrolyze its bound GTP to GDP returning to its inactive state. The GPCR stays active while the ligand is bound to it and it can therefore catalyze the activation of many G protein molecules amplifying the signal.